A sincerely wonderful good morning to you, and welcome to this new playthrough of Anna's Quest. We follow along with this little girl who lives with her grandfather and is using her strange abilities to help other people and ultimately her grandfather from his ailing health. Unfortunately, she strays a little bit too far deep into the woods. So, enjoy my playthrough of Anna's Quest. And also, um, missing context as I kind of like lose interconnection during a lot of these these um streams. This is what you stream on Twitch, but for your viewing pleasure I have edited it for YouTube viewing. You being out at night? Grandpa, I'm fine. I was just finishing the chores around the farm. Oh my dear, you needn't do so much. Come inside. Rest. It's fine, Grandpa. I like helping out around the house. I'm not so little anymore, you know? <sighs> yes. Quite right. Quite right. And I was thinking, well, maybe, maybe next week, instead of you, I can go sell our crops in the village? No! No. That is for me, and me alone. I'm sorry, my dear. It's just... the things that are out there. Promise me. You won't ever venture out into those woods. I... I promise. Good. Good. And when I do go, you must always remember, however near or far we may be. In our hearts, we carry our family. Oh, that's nice. So which one of them's gonna die? This is a tale that began in a number of places, as many often do. It began once with two sisters in a faraway school where children were cruel and misunderstood all the same. Today, however, it begins in a deep, dark wood where a very special girl indeed was about to begin a long and perilous journey. Oh, let me turn on the volume. Sorry. <laughs> there, I turned on the Once game volume. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Anna who lived with her grandfather in a deep, dark wood. Is that better or he worse? He told her of all the evils that lurked outside the safety of their humble farm and warned her never to venture far. One night, however, the grandfather grew suddenly ill, yet he insisted Anna promise not to enter those woods. Her love for him was so strong that she could not, and at once set out on her ill-fated quest for a cure. The brave girl traveled cautiously into those woods, wary of all the stories her grandfather had told her. Careful as she was, however, a wicked old witch, filled with the most evil of intent, followed her from dark and foggy shadow. The old woman snatched the girl away, and in the darkest corner of those cursed woods, she locked her in a great tower. The witch, you see, had plans for the girl, but the girl had an unwavering determination to save her beloved grandpa. <laughs> If you say it's okay, um, I will appreciate it if you do. Ah yes, uh, one of the burdens of playing um, at this time of day. Hmm. Oh, Grandpa. What have I gotten myself into? If... If only I'd have listened to you, then... No, I can't think like that. Grandpa needs me. I have to find a way to help him. That's it. That thing was there before I even got here. It really, really freaks me out. That's a very, very shiny horn you have there, Mr. Unicorn. And, uh, a little sharp and pointy, too. 
I suppose I could cut off his horn if I wanted to. The better to impale you with, my dear. Just looking at it reminds me of the gunk the witch fed me. Blech. Cooking is obviously not one of the witch's specialties. I tried to lurk. Grandpa would never let me have something this sharp. I guess the witch doesn't have much care for children and safety. No, not really. I have to say, these are pretty fun. The witch did alright with these. I do wonder why the witch kidnapped me in the first place. I'm still not sure what that's for. I wonder. Maybe if I have a closer look. No. No, I shouldn't. That thing seems dangerous. Maybe I should just leave it alone. I'm still not sure. I think that. Part one of them? What is that thing? Jeez, the witch has some weird machines. I don't really know what it is or what it does. I think that's a pretty good reason not to touch it. It is a very comfy chair. I would use it more if it wasn't for the scary looking machine hanging above it. Not now. A rubber ball. Hours of fun. Indeed. So soft and smooth. I'm not sure what they're made of, but they feel so nice. Not now. So, Anna, how are you this evening? Excellent. Tired, hungry. Tired, hungry? That's nice. Now listen carefully. The time has finally come for your experiment. Ah, uh, exercise. Experiment? Yes, exercise. Exercise? See your nice red chair over there? Okay. I need you to go on and sit in it. Um... What exactly is this exercise? Just do as I say. Uh... <coughs> that is to say... Come along, dear. Nothing to be afraid of. Be a good girl. And sit in the chair now, hmm? Well, that's not ominous or creepy. Let's do what she says. I'm gonna move the uh, microphone a little bit closer. And I don't think I'll be using blah. And I don't think I'll be using the keyboard as much. The next task is in the chair. To accomplish that, we'll need the chair, like it with the um, right joystick or L1 and R1, the shoulder bumps. You can interact with it by pressing the X button. Not now. Fine. All these stuffed animals are so adorable. I'm sure the old witch hates them for that very reason. Kind of the witch tells me she'll unlock it when I complete her exercises. I don't really care about toys, though. I just want to see Grandpa again. That's how the old witch talks to me from her house. I think it's also how she hears me, too. And we gotta jam it. Be a good girl and sit in the chair now, hmm? <sighs> I better just do as she says. You, you don't I have can never to, tell when the witch is or isn't spying on me. So, so creepy. Should be the red indicator. No, even if I wanted to try and move it, it's much too high for me. I could be wrong. But I have a feeling the witch made that mattress out of wood. Every morning I wake up with splinters. Hmm. It's not bedtime, it's escaping time. <laughs> what a sad looking thing. All flat and lumpy. I barely get any sleep on it. Not now. Not now? Okay, later then. Uh, sit in the chair, I guess. Good. Very good. All right. Stay very still now, Anna. Okay, not a hair, hair straightener. 
Now hop up, Anna. Quickly now. So tell me, do you feel different? Somehow different in your head, perhaps? Actually, yeah, I kind of do. I feel kind of, kind of, kind of sick and dizzy. Those lights were really intense. Oh, curse you, child. That should have brought out your powers. Um... Powers, really? Powers? Really? Like what? Your telekinesis. Show it to me. Telekinesis. 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 I know you have it. I've seen it. If he has it, then you must have it. I'm sorry. I really don't know what you mean. I don't have any powers. Hmm. This may be harder than I first thought. All right, all right. Go and pick up your spoon. Okay. Uh, no, that's okay. I'm not really that hungry. No, not to eat. Pick it up. Hold it out. And then think about nothing except the spoon bending. All right. Well, come on, child. This seems rather silly, but I think the witch's patience is running out. I better just do as she says. To pick up the spoon, you have to find it first. To help you with finding interesting objects, you can show hotspot markers over interacting objects and characters. To do this, press and hold R3. Oh. If you look at objects before picking them up, try square on the soup with spoon to use the look at command. This also works other characters. The witch keeps it locked. Always. No, not yet. That's the witch's house out there on the hill. She must have built this tower just for these exercises. Even if I did break the window open, it's still a long, long way down. I think I'll try getting through the door first. Just looking at it reminds me of the gunk the witch fed me. Blech. Cooking is obviously... You can now pick up the spoon. Use the X in the soup with the spoon to use the pick up command to make Anna walk to the table and pick it up. Every item you pick up is stored in your inventory. Open the inventory by pressing the down button. Maybe I should try something else. Anna has a special ability, telekinesis, which can be used to manipulate items or objects from distance. It can be activated by pressing L2 or R2. Use telekinesis on the spoon by selecting it and then pressing one of the buttons. Concentrate on bending the spoon, huh? Concentrate on bending the spoon. Alright then, here goes nothing. I don't believe it. What? What did you say? What happened? I bent the spoon? I bent the spoon? Wow! Come closer, child. I can't hear you. It worked. It actually worked. I bent the spoon. Show it to me. Hold it up to the camera. Okay. This is fine. Anna can take an item into her hand and track other objects around her. Pick up the bent spoon as in the item inventory or press left or right for quick access. Then show it to the camera pressing triangle. No, that didn't work. If she sees me messing with the speaker, then the old witch would surely come up here in a rage. I really don't want that to happen. I want some soup first. Uh, nah. I don't think that will help. <laughs> okay, fine. See? Look! I 
I really did it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Can you let me out now? <laughs> Finally, it's mine. All mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Uh-oh. Oh, but I still have so many things to do. So many things to prepare. Anna, don't go anywhere. I mean, um, I can't. But there isn't anywhere to go. Yes, good girl, good girl. Oh, <laughs> the day has come at last. I can't help but feel a little uneasy about this. Whatever the witch is planning, it can't be good. Oh no, oh no. Hmm? What should I do? Yikes. It seems that he can speak. Try to start a conversation with him by pressing X. Oh. No. She's distracted at the moment, which is good for me. So let's keep it that way. All right, mister. What do you got to say? This doesn't seem to work. Oh. Um, hello? Is someone there? Uh, hello? Ah! Ah! Hmm. You can hear me? What is this? You can hear me. Oh boy, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to talk or not. Wow, that sure is a big relief. Is this another one of your tricks, witch? Anna? Oh no, shh. Anna, you gotta be quiet. Anna, who are you talking to? Oh no, oh no, what have I done? This is bad. I, I was talking to... Oh. No one. Just myself. Again? Anna, really? Mm. I wish you'd quit doing that already. You're distracting me. She can't help it. She's a point of click Hello? Antagonist. Who are you? Oh, I'm... 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 Bear? No, wait. That's not right. Be... Ben? Burn? Burshin? Oh, wait! Yes! It's Ben! It's Ben! Wow! I remembered! You have trouble remembering things? Oh, yeah. Everything from before. I wasn't always like this. What did you mean, not always like this? What did you mean, not always like this? Oh, I'm really like you, Anna. You're a girl? No, yuck! I'm not a girl, silly. I'm a boy. Well, I was a boy when that old woman first brought me here. So the witch, she did this to you? So the witch, she did this to you? Turned you into a teddy bear? Uh-huh. I... I, I think something went wrong. She screamed and said witchcraft was stupid and and I was so scared. So I just sat here and tried to stay as still and quiet as possible. Gee, Ben. That's awful. I'm sorry. How long have you been here for? How long have you been here for? Oh, I'm I'm not really sure, but it sure feels like a long time. A very, very long time. I tell you, I was so happy when you came, Anna. Finally, a friend. Are you... Did you say you're gonna escape? Shh! Not so loud! This isn't happening. What isn't happening, Anna? This! Me... talking to you. Isn't it? I'm not sure. I suppose it is. I... I think it is, Anna. What were you getting so worried about before? Oh, Anna, this is bad. Why? What is she planning? Well, I'm not sure, but it's bad. It's very bad. Just look at what she's done to me. And with that power of yours, she... It's okay, Ben. I'm going to escape. Well, we're going to escape. Yeah. I'll take you with me. <gasps> I knew it, Anna. I knew it. Oh, but, friends for life. Um, how are we going to escape, Anna? I'm not sure yet. I'm starting to think, though, 
this power of mine. Oh yeah, I saw that. That's amazing. You are so clever. Yes, well, I guess I can bend spoons now, but it doesn't seem strong enough to do anything useful. If I could try that machine again, maybe I can make it stronger and... Oh no, Anna, you can't. It's too dangerous. It's all covered in cables and lights and, and, and machine things. Okay. ECG. Okay. Let me think about this. That blue light in the headgear thing, that's what seemed to bring this telekinesis out. So then, perhaps there's a way of removing that from the rest of the machine, or perhaps there's a way of controlling it from in here? Oh, Anna, you really are so smart. Uh, but, um, how are you gonna do that, Anna? I'll figure it out. To escape, I'm going to need to... So to escape, I need to... Find out if there's a way to control the machine from here? It sounds so simple. Okay. I'm going to keep looking for a way out. Oh, this is so exciting! Tutorial now allow ads throughout the room. Additional managers will show up when new gameplay elements are introduced. I don't think Ben wants that. He just wants a way out. That's Ben! Poor guy, he's been here even longer than me. Can I take this? Yes. Uh. Ha. Ah. Mm. Oh. I meant to eat the soup, but okay, that works too. Just take a crayon, I think. Hmm. And some paint, too. I like paint. This doesn't seem to work. I think I'll leave the rest. I don't think my pa. That thing scares me, and I don't want to start imagining it talking and coming to life. Hmm. Interesting, that doll kind of looks like her. Different hair color, but same clothes and shoes and everything. Uh, let's see the scissors on the unicorn. Nope. That. I'm sorry, Mr. Unicorn. Close your eyes now. No, it's not my Ooh. room. See? It's that wasn't so room. bad. I'm in the living room. Where's the puppies? Um, I think they're all upstairs right now. Cause they're all like either asleep or they're hanging out with the um the main owners, if you know what I mean. They might come downstairs later, but probably not. You might see Ensign or maybe um Reagan at some point. The other ones who usually go downstairs in the middle of the night. Uh, That's inventory. a very, very shiny horn you have there, Mr. Unicorn. And, uh... You can see all of his stuffing with his horn taken off. All of his... insides. Great. On this? No. I should try using my power... I should try use... No. My t Alright, can I combine it? That wouldn't be useful. Hmm. I should try something else. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're all upstairs right now, though. In a different room. I'm not trying to combine items in the inventory by using them in each other. Open the inventory, pick the scissors, and use a book. Hmm, I... Even if I did... I think I'll try getting through the door. No. Maybe I should try something... I don't think my... What a sad-looking thing. 
all flat and lumpy. I barely get any sleep on it. <laughs> no, he, he is very cute, but I think I'll leave him where he is. I mean, I can go fetch a puppy, but hmm, let's I think see. they wouldn't really uh, appreciate that. Mm, no, still not strong enough. All right. Even if I did break the, I think. I'll... Anna, mm. what is that you are doing? Oh, that—that's nothing. I'm just a. Uh, Playing. Hmm. Well, remember, I have my eye on you. Okay. Mm. Nope. Still locked. I don't think this power thing is strong enough. Okay. Ye. This little girl has telekinesis. Even if I did, I think. Nope. Wrong button. Uh, let's see. Find the scissors and the ball. Yeah, that could work. Puncture it. Now I have a perfect half circle of rubber thing. Oh, okay. It's. I, I think I'm supposed to replace the. No. That... I think I'm supposed to replace, replace the button. Let's take a peek in. The only thing is. I think they are being controlled by that machine. There seem to be some kind of magical attachments. Hmm. Right. Let's see. Most of these things here are just lights, but on the bottom half, there seems to be more buttons and controls kind of stuff. They're protected by some kind of cover, though. Hmm. That means the witch didn't want me using them. I'm taking this as a good sign. Okay, so what item can we use? Uh, the horn? On the bottom half, there seems to- but I can't- Aha! This might be pointy enough to get under the cover and pry it off. Let's see. Ah! Yeah. Mr. Unicorn's horn! It got all bent and broken. Guess I don't really need it anymore. Okay, let's see here. Buttons, buttons, buttons. None of them seem to have any indication about what they are or what they do. Hmm. Uh, fingers crossed, I guess. Uh. <laughs> oh. uh... Anna? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. But look, Ben, that bit there, that's the glowing bit. Those blue light bits seem to be glowing more now that it's disconnected, too. So, maybe if I try it now... Ah, Anna, that sounds good. About it glowing and everything, but I'm not so sure you should pick that up. It does seem rather... sparky, doesn't it? Hmm... Maybe there's something I can use to pick it up safely, though. <laughs> no, no, it, it, it's fine. Ben is just a boy who got turned into a stuffed, uh, stuffed bear. I'm going to keep looking for a way out. Oh, this is so exciting! Alright. Uh, I should try to find some... I don't want to break it. This needs to be handled gently. It might be my only way out. Fine. Alright. No, that won't... The half rubber ball should do? No, that... Ah, here we go. Ah, yes! This rubber should make it safe to pick up. I... hope? I have to say, even after doing all that, even if I can pick it up, should I really be putting something like this on my head? Grandpa, I know you tell me not to ever do something as crazy as this. If it means getting back to him, though, I have to try. Well, Ben has no choice. Here goes nothing, I he suppose. He was cursed into becoming a bear and uh, left there. 
I don't think the witch is even aware that she he's still alive as a bear. <laughs> My head. I feel like my brain just turned upside down. Anna? Are you all right? Did it work? Anna? What was that light just then? Uh, you see. What are you doing in there, child? I was just... What do I say? Anna, don't you turn your back on me. I don't know what you're up to in there, but remember this. I'm watching you. Not for long. I can assure you, little girl, whatever you are up to, you will regret it. Returning to make us stronger. You can, now manipulate, you can now manipulate bigger objects than before. Select the camera and use the telekinesis. That's it! If I can tamper with the speaker, maybe gently move the camera, then she might not be able to see or hear me escape. Alright. Here goes nothing. Mm. Yeah, the technology is very weak. She could barely uh -oh. hear me like I was in the center of the room. That was a little more than I intended. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Exploded She's the gonna camera. be so mad at us, Anna! This time, Ben... You're very right about that. I think I see her now. She's coming, Anna! She's coming! It's too late to worry about her now. We have to get out of here, quick! Oh yes, run, Anna! Run. Your power! Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, before I leave... I think that came off the camera when it blew up. All things considered, it had a pretty good landing. I think it? No time for that! Fine. Uh, let me take Ben at least. No time for time. We've got to get. That's Ben. He's been here. Wait, why can't I pick up Ben? No, I could hurt him. No. Uh, this box? No time for that. Locked. Oh, yeah, let me. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be trapped in here again later, aren't I? Telekinesis. Even if I. I think I'll. Time for mm. There we go. Find doors open and escape. You can leave the rooms moving to the exit. In this case the door pressing the box. Can I take Ben with me? You did it, Anna! Quick, let's go! That's Ben. He's been No time for that. Maybe Ben will just come with me. All right, it's time to go, Ben. Um. Oh, I can't do you move. Need some help getting up? Yeah. Oh no, no, no! I can do this. <laughs> um, oh dear. <laughs> That's it, Ben. You've got it. <laughs> he's a, he's also a child. It's fine. Oh boy, I did it! I really <laughs> did. <laughs> okay. Okay, quick, we need to see if you can walk so we can get going. Actually, I think oh, yes. Ben is younger Let me than see. Anna. Crotch first. <laughs> well, there you go. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. 